David, diff difficult game today. First time here at Steel Park in this pre-season build-up. But you must have seen things that now you know need to be worked on. Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, credit to Brackley. They're, they're a strong side. Um, physically very strong. Well organised. And I think they'll be, they'll be strong this year in the Conference North. Um, we had an opportunity today to play one or two trialists and maybe an opportunity to see how they, you know, they stood up against the dominant side than, than ourselves and some a team from, from two levels above. Um, so we've learned we've learned a bit um, about ourselves, things we need to work on. Um, we changed our shape a bit second half, um, went to three at the back, but you know that's what pre-season's for. We've, we've got to try these things to, to know what we are good at and what we're not good at, and where we need to improve uh, and where we're strong. So um, all in all is invaluable minutes against a team that ultimately you know, they're going to have the lion's share of the ball, which is which is good because, you know, at times this year, I think we will have the lion's share of the ball. So it was, it was good to see the back four, or should I say the back five, under under a bit of pressure. Um, and it was sort of, you know, it was, it, it was difficult. They had a lot of possession. But I'm, I'm pleased because it's the invaluable minutes of, of being on the back foot that I was pleased with today. Um, but we move on. We've got another game Tuesday. It'll be another opportunity to to look at another couple of trialists and the same Friday we've got SNL at home on Friday. Um, so, you know, it's an opportunity for us to, to try and get uh, our starting 11 together, which we feel is the best 11. But at the same time, we've got, you know, we've got to be fair to trialists and stuff like that and, and, and have a proper look at them. So, um, it's pre-season. It's not massively about the result. I, I, you know, I didn't want to lose today as I don't want to lose Tuesday or Friday. But it's a case of letting, you know, letting people show you what they can do and, and us giving them a fair crack and, and we'll take it from there. Of course, this is the first time I've got to speak to you after a game of football, as you are now the Corby manager, taking on just after the end of last season, of course. And uh, it must have been a very busy uh, period of time since taking over that role. And now it, 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 there's loads of work to do, I'm thinking. Yeah, there is. Um, to be honest, I was quite pleased because we've got a lot of our, uh, our players in and signed pretty early, to be honest, um, which is pleasing because, you know, non-league football, you speak to players. And, and see, want to speak, want to speak to this person, want to speak to them, which is which is understandable. You know, it's the, that that that's football for you. Um, but like I say, pleased with with the people we've brought in. Um, again, it's it's about trying to add to what we've already got um, and giving these trialists an opportunity to try and impress us and you know take the team forward. It does look like a good foundation of footballers that you've brought in at this point of the season. You've got now a, a month before the kick off of the brand new season. A new league, new teams, different teams that we've never played against before. It's all going to be very different. It will. Um, you know, we're under no illusions, and, uh, and Wardy and, and Gaudi are experienced at these levels as well. I've played at these levels um, for the last two or three years. It's going to be a tough league. Um, there's one or two that have come up that are going to be strong. Um, you know, there's, there's one or two others that you know have got big budgets, um, and they'll be expected to be at the right end of the table. Um, it's for us, we've got to make sure that we're competitive and, uh, and we try and win every game we play. And of course, the other big uh, uh, news story around Corby Town is this game on the 30th of July. I'll leave it as my last question because obviously you've been very, very quiet about it. I haven't seen much in social media coming from you, the boss of Corby Town, about this game. You're still going to prepare, you're still going to put a good team out, you're still going to go out to win. Yeah. Um... You know, it's brilliant for the town, uh, the supporters and, and everyone involved with the football club. Uh, it's going to be a good day out for them. But ultimately, I'm not, I'm not too concerned about that, if I'm being honest with you. Uh, we're going to put a side out where it's another opportunity for us to get minutes in the bank. Um, you know, it's terrific that we've got, you know, them ex-Premier League legends coming to, to Corby Town. And, and like I say, hopefully we can get a good crowd down there. Um, and we can all enjoy the day and come through it injury free and we, and we move on to the next one. Because it's all about the money at the end of the day. It could be quite a money spinner for the steel men. Uh, and that helps you, I'm guessing. I hope so. Um, I hope we get the numbers through the gate, which which I think we will. You know, the supporters were fantastic last year. They came out in numbers in difficult circumstances. Um, so, you know, it'd be nice for them to give them a little bit of a, a reward for, for, for all, the, um, all the levels of commitment they showed to us last year, in, in, like I say, in difficult circumstances. But, no, looking forward to it. Um, ultimately, it's a game of football that, you know, we want to get minutes into the players. And, you know, like I say, today there's one or two things to work on, which, which we will. Um, but more importantly, we've got invaluable minutes against a, a real practice. Thanks very much, Dave. Cheers very much. Cheers, mate. Cheers, mate.